Hey guys, it's Mike here. Uh, haven't posted anything in about a week. Uh, nothing really going on anyways, but uh, I did just set up this uh, Fluval Flex 9 gallon. Uh, I guess when you run out of space in the rest of the house, you can always set one up on your kitchen counter. Uh, but no, in reality, this tank I actually set up for my little sister. Uh, she about a month ago, she brought me her betta fish that she keeps at work. Uh, she keeps in a little nine, uh, in a little one gallon uh, bowl with one huge piece of decor in it that takes up almost the entire bowl. So yeah, she brought it to me because it was super lethargic. It was just laying on its side and wasn't swimming or anything like that. She thought it was dying. So she brought it to me and I just put it inside of uh, my five gallon quarantine tank and Gave it some heat, you know, kept at 80 degrees, and from day one it was super, super active and, you know, doing real well. So I think it was just kind of bored with having no space to swim. So as a surprise, I've set up this uh, nine gallon tank for her. Uh, right now I'm kind of just letting it grow in while, you know, this whole entire coronavirus pandemic happens. Uh, I don't want to, because I'm still going to work, I don't want to accidentally give her anything if I happen to be carrying anything. But yeah, super simple setup. Uh, the substrate, I have a layer of EcoComplete down at the bottom because, well, I have four bags of it that's just been sitting in my garage for the last year, so I figured I'd use some of that. Then it's topped with a mixture of sand and gravel from the river down by my house. Uh, the rock is also from the river down by my house. Uh, and then for plants, I have some dwarf Sagittaria uh, in the front corner right there. I have a little bit of, uh, what's it called again? Stargine Repens. I'm gonna see if that can start to spread there. I figure it'd be really cool to have like a nice little patch of Stargine Repens, like almost like a spongy patch right there. Uh, I've got some Crypt Wendenti green in there, uh, Bacopa Caroliniana in the back corner there, uh, some uh, Blixa Japonica. I've never had good luck with that, so we'll see if that actually grows in. Uh, then a whole bunch of Pennywort back there, and then I've got regular Java Fern as well as some uh, Trident Java Fern. And then there's also a little bit of water sprite back there. And I'm hoping that also I might be able to source pretty soon some uh, Vesuvius Sword. I love Vesuvius Sword. It's one of my favorite plants. And also I'm thinking maybe some Monte Carlo that I'll put in this corner right over here. But yeah, we'll see how it grows in. Uh, I just put in some... Uh, root tabs. So I've made some DIY Osmocote root tabs uh, last night and put them in there today. Uh, yeah, <laughs> we'll see how it grows. I can't wait to see what it looks like in about a month, maybe a month and a half once it starts growing. Uh, but yeah, temporarily, I, I think I might put the beta in there, but at the same time, I've also been really wanting to get myself some endlers or some other kind of uh, nano fish. So I might put some fish in there just temporarily, but I know that if that happens, I might just decide that, you know, she never knew about this tank and maybe I'll just keep it for myself. Uh, no, I, I really shouldn't do that. That'd be super selfish of me, but it, I think this might be one of my favorite tanks I've ever set up. So yeah, just wanted to give some kind of update. I wanna kind of make sure to at least put out one video a week on here, but yeah. Thanks for watching.